Good evening, and welcome to the public meeting for the Central Florida Expressway Authority's State Road 429 Binion Road Interchange Project Development and Environment, or PD&E study. During this presentation, we will be going over the design concepts for this project. This meeting is being conducted without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to Title VI compliance by the Central Florida Expressway Authority may do so by contacting Kevin Kamara, Public Involvement Coordinator, by mail at 4974 ORL Tower Road, Orlando, Florida, 32807, or by phone at 407-383-5817, or by email at projectstudies at cfxway.com. All inquiries or complaints will be handled according to CFX procedure and in a prompt and courteous manner. State Road 429 is part of the 125-mile regional expressway system that is planned, designed, constructed, maintained, and operated by CFX. CFX operates EPASS, the first electronic toll collection system in Florida, with more than 1 million EPASS accounts. The CFX Limited Access Network that serves 3 million residents and more than 75 million visitors is fully funded by toll revenue. No tax dollars are used for CFX's $4 billion five-year work plan. CFX is an independent agency of the state, governed by a board of seven locally elected leaders and three governor appointees. Each year, we at CFX prepare our five-year work plan based on the existing and anticipated needs of the community in our five-county region. Updates to our work plan are then brought before our governing board for adoption. Our current work plan, which covers fiscal years 2023 through 2027, totals over $4 billion, the largest in our agency's history. Projects included in our work plan are typically a product of our long-term planning effort, referred to as our master plan. We are currently in the pd and &E study phase of a level one project environmental impact report, otherwise known as a PEER, which allows for more detailed preliminary engineering and environmental evaluation to identify a recommended preferred alternative that can be advanced to the next step, which is the final design phase. On a large scale PD&E project, such as a new alignment, we follow the project development process outlined on this slide. For projects of a smaller scale, like a capacity improvement or new interchange, the study phases of this process are condensed and therefore fast-tracked, as is the case for the project being brought before you today. The goals and objectives which correlate to the project purpose and need include promoting regional connectivity, enhancing mobility of the area's growing population and economy by providing additional transportation infrastructure, providing consistency with local plans and policies, including state and regional plans, as well as close coordination with future land use development, and lastly, identifying transportation mobility options and programs that could meet future demand. The study is investigating the feasibility of advancing the project. The PD&E study process allows for more detailed blending of preliminary engineering, environmental analysis, public involvement, 
and includes the development of several engineering and environmental documents to support the decision-making process. This is a systematic evaluation of feasible alternatives that identifies a preferred alternative. Stakeholder input is an important aspect of the PD&E study process as the concept study alternatives are re-examined in order to develop feasible solutions that meet the project purpose and need while minimizing impacts to social, natural, cultural, and physical resources. The environmental analysis will include measures to avoid and or mitigate impacts. Now, let's talk about the study area and key features. The outline of the study area boundary is shown on this map in orange. The study area runs along the vicinity of South Binion Road and Boy Scout Road, east of State Road 429. The State Road 429 Binion Road Interchange is a proposed half interchange with movements to and from the north. A northbound entrance ramp and a southbound exit ramp connection are provided between State Road 429 and South Binion Road at an intersection with Boy Scout Road. Currently, for drivers traveling between the intersection of South Binion Road, Boy Scout Road, and State Road 429, they must drive approximately three miles to the north to just pass US 441 at the State Road 429 Connector Road Interchange, or travel three miles south to the interchange at Ekoe Apopka Road, also known as County Road 437A. This new interchange will provide additional access, for example, connecting to the hospital. Through requests from and coordination with City of Apopka staff, the State Road 429 Binion Road Interchange has been added to the CFX current work plan. It is fully funded for all phases, from this PD&E study through construction. This six-month study phase includes analyzing intersection alternatives and improvements, along with access management modifications. We're in the process of evaluating two intersection alternatives, the first being a traditional signalized intersection. The existing T intersection of South Binion Road and Boy Scout Road would be realigned to the south and a fourth leg added to the west. Drivers entering and exiting the northern section of State Road 429, also known as the Wakiva Parkway, would pass through the new signalized intersection. The second alternative evaluates implementation of a single lane roundabout intersection. Drivers entering and exiting the northern section of State Road 429 would travel through this roundabout intersection. This alternative's benefits include reduced travel time delays at the intersection, very few stops, and fewer conflict points for through traffic. During the final design phase, a more detailed noise study following state and federal guidelines will be conducted to determine noise impacts associated with the proposed half interchange. The study will identify noise sensitive sites such as homes, schools, churches, and recreational areas along the project corridor. For this project, noise walls will be considered for areas predicted to experience noise levels that reach or exceed 66 decibels or experience an increase of 15 decibels over existing noise levels. Additionally, the noise wall must provide at least a 5 decibel reduction to be considered feasible. 66 decibels would be slightly louder than heavy traffic 300 feet away. 15 decibels compares to the noise you would hear at night in a rural area. 
think the sound of crickets. There's also consideration involving the cost per benefited property. We will be posting a draft traffic noise analysis on the design project webpage during that phase of the project. And do remember, the noise walls lessen the road noise. They do not completely block out the sound. We hope this information has been helpful. Please don't forget to leave your comments regarding the State Road 429 Binion Road Interchange Project. These comments must be submitted by Monday, November 14, 2022, in order to be entered into the public record. Or you can send your comments to projectstudies at cfxway.com. Following this meeting, a copy of this presentation will be posted to the CFX website at bit.ly forward slash SR429BINIONRDINTPDE. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact Kevin Kamara by phone at 407-383-5817 or by email at projectstudies at cfxway.com. If you're interested in receiving emails regarding upcoming meetings or other important project information, please email Kevin to be added to the email distribution list. Thank you for joining us. And remember, please submit your comments by Monday, November 14, 2022.